So I've been thinking a lot lately, um, things that's been going on for the last few years, actually, something, some things that's been bugging me for a long time, for a very long time. And, you know, I, I kind of feel like this video is going to be kind of controversial. Maybe? I don't know. So in mm -hmm. my opinion, it is. And, you know, I, I, I like making content like this. This is something new I'd like to do. Um, but anyways, I was sitting there thinking, you know, about the SGW crowd, the blue check marks over on Twitter, uh, these media outlets, um, race baiting and all this stuff. And it got me thinking, why is it you have all these white liberal kids, mostly white liberal kids? You see a lot of it in BLM, Antifa, it's all a bunch of white kids, white rich kids. You know, they're talking about, you know, protecting people of color, uh, LGBTQ community, and you know, you name it, every community they think they're protecting. Um, you know, and the thing is, is some of these communities, they get drowned out, you know, with their own message because these people are jumping in to get their notoriety to white knights and basically take the voice away from these other communities. It's almost some sort of racism, a reverse racism. You know, where they do everything for clicks, and, you know, at the end of the day, these influencers that are saying, you know, Black Lives Matter, LGBTQ is awesome, you know, a lot of these people are just doing it because, you know, they get notoriety from it. And you get those blue check marks. You write these articles at race baits. Take a look at the Lord of the Rings stuff going on now. It's a pile of shit. It really is. Um, you know, there's this big overarching message that most people don't really care about, honestly. You know, people should have enough common sense to look after their brother and sister. It doesn't matter what color they are, what religion they like, what sexuality they decide to go with, which I don't think, it, me saying it sounds like, sound, that sounds kind of bad, actually. <laughs> uh, you know, being LGBTQ is not really a choice, okay? It's, it's not a choice. I don't care what anybody says, it's not a choice. And... You know, you get these people, these, you know, these kids, these white kids, and, you know, I hate to say white kids, because it fucking is, it's true. Take a look at the news, take a look at all of these articles that are being written. You know, they're taking the voices away from the actual people of color, and, you know, all these other communities, to actually build up their notoriety, to be like, hey, look at this, I'm going to take a picture of myself helping this person of color not really caring about that person afterwards, as long as that picture gets enough clicks and enough, uh, you know, I guess clicks, fuck, clicks. See, I've never been good at getting my words out and actually kind of nervous talking about it. I mean, you know, it is white knighting. It is. And it is racism. It's a reverse racism. You know, you wouldn't think so. You're thinking, oh, they're 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 standing up for people of color, but they're not doing it because they truly care. If so, they wouldn't be on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok showing it off. You don't have to do something good to show it off. You know, you it's not showboating. You're seeing this trend on TikTok of these people handing money to homeless people. And, you know, the, these guys are outgoing and they're like, oh, man, this is going to get a lot of clicks. And you know it is. It's going to get a lot of clicks. Do they really care about these people? No, they don't. They say they do. They don't care about you. They care about the clicks. They care about the money. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird if you think about it. These people are so insecure about their own racism. They still the voice from these communities. 
They still from the people of color. They still from the LGBT community. They still from everyone. Just so they can get their moment of fame and glory. Get that moment of those fresh, nice upvotes. They cry whenever somebody disagrees with them. Make a big deal on, on the media. I mean, like I said, you take a look at Lord of the Rings right now. It's a fucking mess. You know, some of the articles you see, racist Lord of the Rings fans being racist and stupid and racist. It's pretty much every single article comes out about it. You know, it's funny because Amazon had to hide one of their videos that was massively, massively produced. And the whole point of these videos, they say they're super fans. And they have their diverse people, you know, instead of talking about what they're excited about for the show, every single thing they talk about is diversity and inclusion. I, you know, when I watch Lord of the Rings, and here I am, I'm a white guy. I, you know, I've never read the Lord of the Rings. I read The Hobbits. Never read the Lord of the Rings. Never read Silmarillion. Alien. I love Lord of the Rings, though. You know, I every year I watch at least, you know, the extended versions of all the movies, including The Hobbit, at least twice a year. And then, you know, I'm not a lore expert. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert. But whenever I watch these, I don't think of inclusivity and diversity. I'm there for the story. I'm there for the lore that's presented. You know, you know, we talk about all these changes to, you know, your favorite superheroes. You know, if you take a look at some of the MCU stuff, you know, doing a little bit of race baiting to SJW messaging. When people would rather have a brand new character instead of race swapping a, nor a already established character. You know, people ask for these things, but instead... They force Superman, well, Superman's son, to be gay or bisexual. You know, they have a black Iron Man, a female Thor. See, it's not really, there's not a problem with that inherently. But wouldn't you rather have a brand new character to look up to, make these people important? You know, we, we take a look at, uh, say, Black Panther came out. That had a pretty good impact. It was a pretty good impact. Um, you know, great for, you know, people of color. They have this great character, a great message, a great movie. Um, I don't think it is the best movie in the world like they say it is. I don't think so. You know, it's it's good. You know, I always liked Black Panther. But could you imagine, could you imagine, with all the lore that's developed into that character, Wakanda and everything, what if we replaced Black Panther and his armies with a bunch of Asian or white people? Well, if we did that, it'd be, it'd be chaos. People would fucking hate it. See, this is what's happening with Lord of the Rings. There's no such thing as a black elf in the Lord of the Rings um, actual lore that I know of. You know, there may be softer skin or darker skinned. Uh, there are darker skinned people in um, that lore. And I believe they do explain it a little bit. Again, I'm not an encyclopedia when it comes to Lord of the Rings. I just know the movies and The Hobbits, which I read when I was younger. I couldn't even tell. I owned the books. It just sucks because everything, everything that comes out now is stealing and st stealing like the message. They're not getting the message. They're making the message a meme. Does that make sense? It's probably a bad take. I'm full of bad takes. I'll admit it. These people aren't, you know, genuinely, they don't care about that. They have a check mark list. What needs to be in this movie? Oh, do we have enough diversity in this movie? Well, no. Well, make it. Well, the, the, the lore doesn't... 
Well, make it anyways. It's kind of stupid, and it takes away from the message. It takes away from actual people of color, actual people in the LGBTQ community. It takes away from them. Their actual voices, they're no longer heard. You have these influencers that are taking over, these people that are so insecure about themselves that they have to make themselves look good on camera or on Twitter or on some media site posting these fucking diatribes of crazy race-baiting shit. Talk to you, Kotaku. Talk to you, Gawker. Talk to you, Polygon. Pretty much all the media, basically. It's kind of stupid if you think about it. I just feel like how disingenuous these people are. They think they're doing something amazing. They're not doing it for the people. They're doing it for themselves. To make themselves look better. And we got that. The companies are seeing this stuff happen. It's getting popular, right? It's getting popular to prop yourself up. That's a cool thing to do. Do you care about these people? No, you don't. You say you do, but you don't. You really don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be making a big deal about it. You wouldn't. You just wouldn't be making a big deal about it. It's, it's just, it's fucking pointless, right? Now, I'm not saying everybody's like that. I'm sure there's a few people that's genuine. But a lot of it's disingenuous. Like a lot of it. It doesn't make sense. It sucks. Honestly, it does. And we live we live in a society built on clicks. Have to everything has to be viral. Everything has to have some kind of message. We have to showboat our accomplishments. We have to have things that fit the narrative. And you ask yourself, what's the narrative? Well, I just explained it. I just explained the whole narrative. It's taking the voice away from people of color in the LGBTQ communities as well as the people with disabilities to fit your own persona, I guess. To make yourself look better than you actually are. I, I do believe like some of these people are truly so insecure about their racism that they do this. To make themselves say, hey guys, I'm not a racist. I have black friends. Here's a black person in my video. We all know that guy. You talk to, he's in your family, or he's your friend, he's your cousin. Oh, I'm not racist, I have black friends. That's the kind of people that are doing this shit. It's true. 100% true. 100% true. At a show that's getting ratioed the fuck, what was it, the show times, everything's going to be all white. People are getting tired of this shit. Honestly, people are getting tired of this race baiting bullshit. They're getting tired of it. They are. They are. I mean, absolutely they are. People hate it. You you can tell from all these journalism sites and TikTok and Twitter and all this stuff. You have these people like standing up for this, but they don't believe in what they're standing up for. Most of them don't. Again, it's all about the clicks, man. That's all it is. It's all about the clicks. Guys, I rambled for way too long. This has been kind of bugging me. I'm sorry I never can get the words out that I want to get out. And I know these videos aren't getting seen. I know that. I don't care. But I do like to talk about it to kind of get my mind off things. I, you know, I thought about doing this in a Facebook post, but... You know, a lot of people in my Facebook group or they fit that they fit that uh, stereotypical well stereotype, I guess. It just sucks. It just sucks, and I hope it. I I kind of hope people can see through this. 
Like, I, I want these people of these other communities to have their own voice instead of having these rich kids, these kids that, you know, don't have a job, these kids that, you know, still live off mommy and daddy's tit, but don't know how the real world works. But they don't understand people of color, so they take their voice and make it their own. It's all fucking true. I'm not lying. I'm not. You can say I am. You can say I'm a white supremacist. You say I'm a Nazi. That's fine. Say whatever you want. I don't really care. I know what I stand for. But I'm not going to showboat it. The end.